my older sister Marilyn, myself, Bob Ryan, um, my uh, brother Bob, my sister Lindy, uh, and Bobby's son Jimmy, and now my son Ryan. No, that's not the guest list to the family barbecue, but every Cochran that has become an Olympian. We all started skiing when we were really young. I, I don't remember ever not skiing. Barbara Ann's father had a dream for his young family some 60 years ago. He'd look over at these hills and he'd say, oh, that'd make a nice little ski area. The ski area was where the family trained almost every day, learning how to become ski legends from their parents. Both mom and dad, I think, were good natural athletes. In 1972, Barbara Ann won the gold medal in the Sapporo Japan Olympic Games. To receive the, the Olympic gold medal, and it's it's really touching to to be standing on the podium and especially when you're in first and you get to see your fret flag is raised it's a little bit higher than the other two and uh, to hear the national anthem is just incredible it was an athletic feat that would carry on for generations when they started us skiing and racing they never dreamt that we would be national caliber racers. Barber and son Ryan is now headed to Pyeongchang to carry on the Olympic legacy. I'm so proud. Do you think your dad would be proud? He would absolutely be proud. The family says hard work and dedication is part of their success, but one value is key to being a champion. I would say rule number one is just to have fun. Like that's that's the bottom line. I think. No one who's in my situation would, has gotten here just by kind of hating it. Like, you have to have a love for the sport. The Cochran's love for skiing now touches hundreds of children each winter season, passing the torch to young Olympic hopefuls. In Richmond, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.